And I think a piece of 3-H rebar. The Paradise Irrigation District, with the help of our colleagues at Waterworks Engineering, based in Reading, are undertaking the unprecedented task of repairing our entire water system in a way that enables us to address our two most critical needs simultaneously. By targeting the areas with the highest concentration of undamaged occupied structures, we at PID are getting potable water fastest to those customers. At the same time, we are actively identifying and performing immediately, when possible, the repairs essential to recovering the larger water system. Once an undamaged home is identified for testing of its water service line, PID's focus shifts immediately to an adjacent destroyed property where we attach a sampling manifold to its meter service line. Performing the test at the unoccupied property prevents the neighbor's occupant's service from being disrupted during the three-day wait period before the sample test can be drawn. Waterworks engineer Michael Lindquist explains. The sample manifold allows us to take a water quality sample from the service lateral pipe from here to the street. We take that sample after the water stagnated for 72 hours, which gives ample time for any contaminants that are absorbed into the pipe to leach back into the water in the service lateral. From the same location, we can also sample the water quality in the main pipe by flushing all of the water out of the service lateral and taking a second sample, which represents the water out in the main pipe. At each location, we're going to take two samples. One's from the service lateral, the other's from the main. This first sample is from the service lateral. Second draw, we got main water now. Hey Jim. Michael. The test results came back for this service lateral and they're non-detect. Outstanding. So we have no contamination in this service lateral. Very so good. what might be the next step that you're going to do here? So that's good news. So now we are looking at having to uh, sample a standing structure. And in order to sample the standing structure, we need to be able to isolate that standing structure. In order to isolate that standing structure for the stagnation period, we need to provide them with water because we do not want customers to be without water at any time. So we will actually utilize this now that it's come back non-detect as the supply service line for the standing structure. And we'll be able to utilize a hose going from this apparatus to their service line, to the customer side service line on the standing structure. We'll give them water, then we will set up this same apparatus on their service line and we will sample them in the same manner that we sampled this service line. But what happens when the sample results for our customer service line comes back showing the presence of contaminants? We have a plan for that too. So Jim, the test results for this particular service lateral showed a contaminant level above the MCL. What are the next steps that are gonna to occur to this service lateral? One of the first things that we wanna do whenever we encounter any kind of contamination is to limit that and isolate that particular portion of uh, where we found that contaminant. So the method for doing that is to actually excavate uh, in the street at the water main. Uh, we will actually isolate at the corporation stop, the valve that we will use to shut off to now isolate that service line from the water main. Overall, our plan puts you, the customer, first. We're getting potable water to Paradise's surviving homes and businesses as quickly as possible while avoiding the inconvenience of a customer being without water service during the necessary three-day stagnation period. Although this plan is more efficient because it uses much fewer resources, the timeline for completion of repairs is extended slightly. The trade-off is that between the tireless work of the contractors and the generous mutual aid, PID personnel can more immediately get back to the business of serving our customers in the way that you were accustomed before the fire.